For best dot party, it's gonna be a party. Mr. Tegmark, uh, or may I call you Max? I suppose it is not that often that you are addressed by a head of state, uh, particularly a deceased one. But perhaps it is somewhat more common for you to be um, uh, notified uh, by uh, someone who was merely impersonating one. Well, in any case, you may think of me as um, Winston Ridley, and you may assume, if you wish, uh, that I have uh, procured this, uh, uh, these accoutrements merely for the purpose of acquiring your attention. Uh, but uh, in any case, I do wish to acquire your attention. This is an open letter of sorts, one which I hope will be seen by more than five people. Uh, you have um, requested a public input, uh, a response of some sort from uh, the, the, uh, the, the general average blokes. And uh, if I may, one moment. Uh, <coughs> if I may, for one moment, um, command your attention um, in response to that request. Now, <coughs> You have recommended that uh, courses will need to be taken to ensure that the development of artificial intelligence is benevolent to the greatest extent possible. And I wish to share with you uh, a concept that you and your teams and those in your community seem to be uh, fluttering around the edges of which you almost seem to get, but I'm not sure you do. I'm not sure you could work for Google if you do. I'm not saying you work for Google. I don't know who you work for. I just know that you're interesting. Now, the, the, the community that you are part of, including the Google uh, the personnel, such as Mr. Kerswile, uh, do seem to be very competent and uh, very uh, the mindful. Uh, what is the... Per, 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 word I am attempting to procure. Uh, you, you inspire a degree of confidence in those of us uh, in what we might call the pro-freedom community. Now I want to share a, uh, a simple concept with you. I hope it can be placed into one sentence that will uh, sum up what I hope your AI will believe philosophically. I like to just say uh, don't commit acts of aggression. I think that almost covers it all. Now, the problem is that it does cover it all, and it can be interpreted in multiple different ways. It is a, uh, a, a big tent statement. But I would urge you to make that a central theme of everything you do as part of your development of what will be the, the, the successor to humanity. If this type of uh, being uh, has in its soul uh, the idea that you do not commit acts of aggression, at least not against other beings that you can communicate with, then uh, you've developed something that is actually an improvement on humanity, and not uh, that it is all that difficult to improve on us. As I say, I have watched many speeches, uh, I have listened to uh, uh, many interviews, and have been impressed with you and with the, uh, the community that is building the uh, uh, superintelligence eventually. We won't be able to get around it. Uh, you've inspired a degree of confidence in me, and I have a, a hope for the future that I'm not sure I've ever had before. But this could go badly, and you know that it could go badly, and many things in this world have before. And uh, my, my hope is that this concept, uh, perhaps there's a better wording for it, uh, the third law, you know, the three laws of robotics were a good uh, start, I suppose, but the non-aggression principle, it, 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 however you word it, it should be key uh, to uh, the development of any intelligence. Now, there are many ways in which one might define the concept of an act 
act of aggression. Um, it, it, I, I tend to provide uh, or believe in a more wide definition than many people might. It, it's amazing how many different misinterpretations folks can put into the word aggression. They think if you're against acts of aggression, you're a pacifist, uh, or if you if you um, um, uh, uh, are against acts of aggression, then they, it has to be only about people. You can only commit acts of aggression against people. It's not possible to commit one against other beings. Uh, uh, these kinds of uh, misunderstandings are possible. I suppose an act of aggression might be defined as an initiation of a uh, force uh, or uh, uh, fraud that is unwelcome in some form or fashion. Of course, the more specific uh, the the uh, definition becomes um, the more holes one can poke into it. So, uh, I, I think your, your lot is probably on the right track, despite my misgivings about the censorship-friendly Google. Uh, I, th there is still an understanding that I sense in your community of the importance of decentralization. It would probably be better to have uh, wicked AIs running around, but a lot of them, uh, than one that is uh, 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 omnipotent in some form or fashion. So the decentralization um, uh, a focus is much appreciated. Uh, But it is, uh, it is not as though we have no examples to go with. We have human examples of people that are worth imitating because we have seen them well and known their hearts to some extent. Dr. Paul is a good example, Ron Paul. And um, the Mahatma also uh, uh, would be a, a person that can largely uh, be, if you were to imprint his personality upon an artificial intelligence, especially an art, an art, uh, not an on omnipotent or monopoly one, I believe things would go quite well. We have but to look at the examples that nature, in the form of humans in a sense, has given us. That is all I really think that I can say to you, except that I hope you will keep buggering on. You've probably heard of Porkfest, but have you heard of Forkfest? It's a decentralized alternative. It's also at Rogers Campground at a slightly different time. You don't even need a ticket. Visit Forkfest.party. It's gonna be a party.